I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me You have it. The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkrech Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom driven. Kogan Akatosh, the very bones. your disposal. Honor your courage, Creek Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. Glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Golfor, Sori, Birker. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I will no. not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves, here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Me, Tarudis. Him hind pa leave, zu hindan. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day. Have you created Tarodis? 
to make this contract heard. Be gone, world eater. By words with older bones than your own. Break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. Help you out for all our endings unto the last. You are banished. worked. You did it. Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Die now, and we your to the Lord. Lost foot, you are too late, Alduin.
Dragon Rand. It is the only chance to defeat him. Lot Kongrach, you truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Nilivrach in Moro. True, this is not the final Krongrach. Victory, but not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pahlok, arrogant in his power. Usnagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach, it was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. 
I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Pak. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, think of... That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fade, ponder... That is fine. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek. Power, you have it, as do all Dove, but power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora, what will you burn? What will you spare? Sum Ark Mora. What is it that you need? Uh, I must have misheard you. Provence, I thought you asked you me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. For the war effort. What would you have me do, Rangar? Your brother is a Jarl. You know I can't question his judgment. 
I'm not asking you to defy the Jarl, just to open his eyes. Use subtlety and suggestion. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. Listen to you. you want me Speaking to let the dragon into power. the heart of my city with the, the threat of war on my doorstep? Power. Alduin, the world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Do you think the Stormcloaks will sit idle while this dragon is slaughtering my men and burning down my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then, I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon-trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Aldwin? We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Sky above, voice within.
I made my fortune as a seeker, but now I'm retired. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. Yes. In the old Make world, it quick. I'm a busy man. I'd consider joining up myself. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this, unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, we're all doomed anyway. And if it isn't true, well, then the fight to free Skyrim goes on. Either way, I don't see the use in talking to the Empire. You speak truly, Dragonborn. Sometimes the grubby business of politics clouds my eyes. Besides, it will be good to see High Rothgar again. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. that fur coming out of your ears? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Hey, watch it! Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. But a well-made arrow strikes forth. Gotta keep my eyes open.
I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raymond says a By holding selection. We will oust Alfred, the Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. The Greybeards have called a peace council. The high Oh, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? I'm glad I finally got a chance to see this place. I'm here because it's required of me, but there's nothing to be gained by talking to that murderer. Is everyone here? Let's get this started. Novaki. Take your seat and we can begin. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin.
hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomatic here, here. Sexual. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. What do you think? Are we going to let Alfric dictate terms to us before the negotiations even start? I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. We walk then. No, we'll stay. Out of respect for the Dragonborn and our Greybeard hosts. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your son. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly... No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to We're resist. We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, I'll this is outrageous. It. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what would out the of Empire character. Want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expect a better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, despite your known Imperial sympathies. 
As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... If he's right about Aldwin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Jarlship. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? <sighs> Even the Dragonborn betray Skyrim. These terms are not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. Bah, this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim at least put the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Unslag. You should be pleased, Elisif. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yarl. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Taking control of the Rift was a great victory. Ulfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Gruff, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plans? Yes, 
I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail. I'm afraid you. there's a problem. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good. But did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Alduin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter. 